Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover with a cup of coffee and a Starbucks gift card, which I don't know why is over here, but anyways, I threw it away. Just kidding. Um, let's continue playing as, uh, United States Democratic Edition, Democracy Edition, and Man the Guns for Hearts of Iron 4. So, as you can tell, I have already split up, uh, this Navy. I've called this the USS Navy Group Subs. We have, I don't know, what are these, six different fleet of subs because subs are very powerful in this new meta apparently that's what I've heard whether it is or not well I kind of already know regardless though uh, I have split up all of my subs into this group now I have also formed up the Atlantic theater as well as Pacific even though really it's only really one theater for me right now just because I don't have enough ships or I don't have enough ships with which I would like to make my own navy, but that's what time progress is for. So, I have also divided up this group too, that's also stationed in the Atlantic. This is constituted of mostly light ships and screens, such as supposedly light cruisers, but a lot of destroyers that help patrol the seas in case we find an enemy. Now, uh, we have, I try to put at least one heavy ship for every you know, 10, 12, 13 destroyer groups, and I did put a sub in here too, just because I could. So, example, we have got 10 destroyers here with one battleship. We've got a battleship heavy cruiser with nine destroyers, two heavy cruisers with eight destroyers, so on and so forth. So that is really not too bad, in my opinion, because this is a group that explores, patrols, makes sure that everything's hunky-dory. If they get into a fight, they have a little bit of strength using a battle cruiser, a heavy, maybe even a light cruiser. However, I will make sure that the destroyers that we use will be focused very heavily on destroying enemy subs. Now, I've discovered a lot of enemy subs in my other games that I've already played through, especially with my German playthrough. But, destroyers, in my opinion, are for destroying subs. Now, you want light cruisers or your cruiser hold to become a light cruiser, and your light cruisers should really focus on anti-air. You really want more anti-air in your light cruisers because they're really good at uh, knocking down enemy ships or enemy planes, My, I mean, uh, because they actually nerfed enemy, what was it, enemy naval bombing quite a bit. Now, it's not nerfed into the completely into the ground, but it definitely got a significant nerf, as my German playthrough will tell you. Oh my god, I've lost literally th thousands of planes, no, probably more like 1,500 planes to enemy AA on ships themselves. It's really, really good. Anyways, and also, I will show you this. Uh, we have an Asiatic fleet in the Pacific, which I will form up to be another type of fleet like I have in the Pacific that just patrols the area, as well as our main fleet here. Now, uh, before we move on, I have to talk about this a little bit. This will be the strike force that goes and tries to kill everything that moves. Now, throughout time, I will siphon off outdated old ships from this group because they're all level one for the most part maybe except for a few battleships and a and a carrier but this will be the strike force and exact this composition isn't exactly ideal either because the supposed composition that you want for your navy as far as i know for your strike force fleet at least is one carrier one heavy ship another heavy ship such as a battle cruiser uh battleship or heavy cruiser and then four screens so that's light light cruisers as well as destroyers so a carrier and like a battleship and then four screens now you could of course do probably more up to four carriers before we get a naval penalty but whatever so with that being said now that everyone's here reorganized and you guys gotta work on your stuff here uh let's see uh we are gonna really grind up a ton of naval xp since i've had so much more time learning about the new naval meta so you guys you're going to train. Oh, you're going to train. Oh, you're already training. All right, cool. So now we can kind of move on from the naval meta a little bit because I have honestly learned how to do it very well. Oh my gosh, almost two naval XP every single day. Also, regarding upgrades for your ships, uh, you really... Were to, oh, oh, see, we're already outdated. Uh, actually, these have to be made or honestly destroy them. Cruiser holes. I can't even see what stats these have. Regardless, though, we're making a carrier as well as more destroyers. Now, if I wanted to improve a destroyer, obviously you'd come to the hull, probably the most recent hull version that there is. You want to come over here and then 
you want to actually upgrade stuff. So in the future, when you have better upgrades, like for example, death charge levels three and four, which are really, really freaking good, you just you know assign them to that position and save. But since we don't have that yet, but we do have better torpedoes. Oh, I uh, already have better engines. Uh, sonar, it's good. Fire module. Honestly, you can have other levels of fire modules, but I found that so far they just destroy your reliability. So it's not even worth using higher level fire fire control stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, we already have that. We already have that. Cool. Yeah. And actually, now this is outdated as well. I mean, they're destroyers, so you can pretty much send them to do that again. Since we're making actually a lot of them in the Asiatic Fleet, which actually I don't want to do. I did that last time, but I don't want to put them in the Asiatic Fleet because I want them to have a massive strike force uh, that's constructed... Well, I want a massive fleet constructed of many different task forces. So if some get injured, we still have stuff in the water. So I will put you on in a base where we'll make a lot of them uh, on the East Coast. West Coast, West Coast. Uh, do Washington, because why not? We definitely want the carrier because carriers are godsend. Zabi Sanma joins the Chinese United Front. Very good. As we continue to grind out more naval XP, which is very, very important. Can I do anything to China to help them out? I don't think so. Mission. Why are you asking the Soviet Union? You're supposed to ask me. Just because we expelled Chinese people, you know, in the 20s and 30s on the off the West Coast, even though they helped us build a railroad, doesn't mean you can't ask me. I know you don't really like us, but we have a kind of a positive opinion of the Chinese people. The uh, not communist Chinese people, that being said. Alright, so what else are we trying to do here right now? Well, we're trying to get more House support and more Senate support so we can do more things with our uh, foci, focuses. Uh, suspend the persecution is okay, but I'm really only doing that because I want to get to the Fair Labor Standards Act. So we get more po more positive benefits to the negative benefits that we already get. And of course we have more opposition, but we'll need 50 senators and 218 representatives. Political powers, not bad. Not bad at all. A uh, Manhattan Project, which is insane. We already have six research slots, so we already are overpowered. However, I am a little fearful. Oh, House Committee supports presidential policy. We get up to 50 more representatives, pausing the game so we don't lose a day of research. Uh, now we have more than enough house support. Great. So we have basic fire control. See, this this reliability, this is what I'm talking about. The basic fire, just fire controls in general. They reduce, literally reduce your reliability. They do give you more light attack, anti-air, heavy attack, but the lower the value, the more likely the equipment is of suffering random failure, accidents, or of exploding in a fiery ball of death while lightly bumped. I really don't like that. Reliability is kind of important. And also, Another thing about this DLC, radars are actually very important to build because you can put them on ships now. Because improved de decimetric naval search radar. These will come in handy. At least the first few levels of radar. Oh, and even the last one too. Integrated fire control radar. Not bad. This is 1937, of course. We're done with most of our main uh, industrial needs. Uh, what, are we, what, are, what are we trying to get? Uh, honestly, we've got a lot of stuff already done. Doing that, we want to do a lot of naval stuff. All of our planes. Level 36. Uh, I'm going to use hmm, tactical bombers. Close air support. I already have close air support, but naval tactical bombers are very good as well because we want to have very much range. Honestly, let's go for a tactical bomber. I, I will ultimately have to use those more than really anything else. Because the ranges that you're going to encounter in the Pacific are just so bad out here. And even, even when we get to Asia, I mean, the, the number of air bases out through these regions is just not very good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and amend the... Not amend the budget, because I don't want to lose any more support, even though... Uh, we get more consumer goods. Ooh, special measures. Oh yeah, 50 political power for five more senators and representatives. Ah, politics. Love it. Just pay them off. It's ingenious. And nation building in the Philippines will be more democratic and give them a little... Actually, 10% more stability is actually really good. Uh, they're already pretty darn democratic. Led by Manuel Luis Quezon. I almost said that like a French person. 
Uh, the disability is already 70%. I'm not concerned. We get 0.85 political power per day. We get finished up a little bit of our land doctrine there. Pay subsidies. Uh, you know what? I don't like that since that'll look at no more representatives. If I'm in the budget, a lot more people will not like us. But let's go with the medium lobbying effort since we have enough political power. Oh, wait. Wait, we can use mon money? We can use political power to do this. Fascism, democratic, don't need that. Compassionate gentlemen, don't need that. Oh, consumer goods. Can anyone help me build up? No, it doesn't look like anyone can help me build up more civilian factories, even though, I mean, we've got 164, so I guess I don't need that much more. I do want, though, this guy. More consumer goods. And we've got enough health support and Senate support right now. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, I almost had another day go. Uh, yeah, just keep doing... Hmm... Well, we're not going to be in war for some time. Let's try to get our naval doctrines done as fast as possible. Alright, so how is this going? So we're on this last one, we're trying to develop another destroyer hull. Because both of these groups here, you, are... I wish I could just see all of these at one time, just like how we can do with armies and field marshals. Uh, let's see, you guys are... Oh, you guys could get upgraded. What can you upgrade to? Which gives you all... Oh, yeah, we have to have upgrades. We absolutely have to get upgrades. Yeah, just go ahead and upgrade this group. Yeah, that's totally fine with me. It only takes six days to do that, so... No biggie. Three days? Yeah, I'm not really concerned about that. They're on automatic split-off. They're on medium risk. Totally fine with me. Oh, and we have escort patrols. Very nice. Better escort efficiency, sub-detection, organization, and... Yeah, same thing for... Oh, uh, like cruisers. Now, we need... One more day. You know what? That one day is too long. We're doing land doctrine. Oh, suspend the persecutions. We lost a little bit of stability, but we get Earl Browder, which I don't want. <laughs> which I don't want. More planning speed. We need more s House of Representatives to support the Two Ocean Navy Act. So we get ten more dockyards. Holy crap. Holy cow. Intervention in the Americas. Planning speed. War powers. Manhattan. Oh, here we go. Reach out to the Ware Group, which will help us a little bit, but U.S. What does this do? Achieve remarkable progress in building a modern nation, industrialized society, help them out, unholy alliance, no thanks. Secure China, and eh. I want this, because this could help us out. And by doing this, we'll lose a little bit of representatives and senators, but that's okay. With the first signs of a slow recovery taking place, it is time to ensure that the workers get to participate in it. We must ban exploitative practices such as unpaid overtime and introduce a livable minimum wage. Well, we still don't have that nowadays, but you know what? You didn't come here for the politics. Unless you do, unless you leave comments saying you do. Uh, we're not talking about that right now. Alright, so, 1937. You don't normally have enough research slots to actually research everything here. That's what I discovered in my Germany game. It's 1937. I have not used smoke generators yet. I don't know how those really work, but these are actually pretty good. Armor piercing cap, medium shells. They're not bad. I mean, these will automatically apply anyways. Uh, fire control methods, which gives you more attack, which is pretty good. Damage control could be pretty good as well. Mine sweeping, I have not experienced that yet. But I want to go with this doctrine stuff. Because doctrines, they can take so long to do. And Senator votes for government proposals, so we get more senators. Awesome. What am I doing? Fair Labor Standards Act. So we want probably a few more people to help us out here. Um, consumer goods. I mean, I want more factories because it, this really hurts us. 50% factory goods go to someone else and not me. I don't like that. Uh, for this, we lose 70.75 political power. That's not bad. I mean, I already have enough at the moment. I mean, we're still getting nothing. We're not getting enough, apparently. But I will get the consumer goods guy soon enough. So we can't... I don't want to do this yet because since we don't have enough naval experience... 1737. We could extract a little bit more, but something tells me with 184 oil, I think I'll be okay. Uh, research could be good. Logistics companies are just something I always go for. We can build more synthetic oil refineries, more fuel for oil. We don't need to do that ever, probably. Air Doctrine. Actually, you can also do the same thing with Air Doctrine. You can spend uh, XP for that, so that might be a good thing to research in the future. You know what? We'll just do some support companies for now, since 
you can't really, I don't think you can use XP for that anyways. Yeah, you can't, you can't change this, but I want to build these all up. There's, how many are we building? I don't know. Oh, 1936 heavy ship hold. Awesome. Let's see, 144. Awesome. Uh, 53 days is not bad. So 50 cruiser hold. Oh, we have all these wanting to come as well. Honestly, I will build all of these, but it's just going to take some time. And you are all coming to... You know what? These all will be made into a separate task force. Which I will put in the East Coast. Because, like I just said, I want them all in a separate task force. I have lost a lot of subs playing as Germany last night. Oh my gosh, you don't even know. But just mostly because I was learning the naval meta. And you got to have a couple casualties if you want to learn anything, really. Oh, and here we go. We can have a 1936 heavy ship. So heavy ships, I believe, include... Yeah. Battle cruisers and battleships. Battleships are good and all, but I think I'm probably going to produce a battle cruiser. I mean, obviously we don't have the naval capacity yet to do this. I do want those. Mm -hmm. And we don't exactly need heavy ships yet. I mean, we have carriers, and carriers are like the kings of the sea now. Or they will be very soon. Let's see, we're still losing a little bit of political power. It's fine. I'm still just trying to produce more and more and more factories. Uh, I could maybe, instead of build all of this, maybe build a naval dockyard. Hmm, 70 is not bad. 60, as you go further south, it gets worse and worse, up to Florida to 70. How about on the west coast? 60? Oh, that's even bad. It's even worse. 70, that's not bad. 80? Oh, actually, 80 is pretty good. You know what? We'll build a few naval dockyards so we can get more naval production going. Because actually, <clears throat> if you lose your ships, that is a massive drain on your economy, and it, it'll hurt you. You will see how badly uh, it can really affect you. Because this is taking up until December of 1937 for this 1936 cruiser hull. The big ships take forever to produce. I mean, those destroyers, they're not bad. They're, they're produced fairly quickly compared to, you know, bigger ships. But holy cow, you will feel the difference. You will feel it in your bones. <laughs> All right. Um, do we have enough? We do have enough for this. Yeah, I, and I know I just said it. it's going to take forever to research your next ships, but I would rather have carriers at this point and maybe some heavy cruisers than a battleship, I think. I hope. Uh, let's see. For this guy, we can help him out. We can probably get some economic cooperation between us and the USSR because, and this is very, very important to know. Let's see. Passing a Neutrality Act will drastically increase acquires of the uh, Land Lease Act. Neutrality Act. Uh, giant Awakes. We have to be at war. Or more than 30% war support. Alright, let's, let's reach out to the group because I want to help out the Soviet Union. Which is kind of odd because you would think that the Soviet Union can do well themselves. Well, ooh, baby, I got some news for you. Apparently, not all the time, but apparently, the Soviet Union is not any, as far as I know, any degree weaker, really. But, the Soviet Union does suffer from the hands of Germany, because apparently the Axis indirectly got buffed or something like that, because they honestly went a lot more now than they used to, in terms of, like, dominating the Allies, from what I've been told, of course. Uh, I have not played as the Allies by myself yet in a single-player game, because I've been playing some multiplayer with the Axis and other people, but regardless. Ooh, Senator from New Mexico offers support. Uh, these kinds of deals are below the president. We make a lot of good points. Offering their support for the president in return for an informal guarantee that New Mexico would be the site of a new munitions plant for the army. They argue that building a plant in the area would create a lot of jobs and would provide the army with much needed support in an increasingly dangerous world. Well, we screwed up last time, but I am totally not biased completely impartial to anyone's uh, asking for anything. And I'm totally not going to build a new... Oh my god, 40%? Jesus, New Mexico. No wonder no one likes to settle there. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Totally not building something here. And totally not going to do that quickly. March 1938, no, that's not bad. Uh, what are we producing that we don't have? Naval bombers, huh? Was that... Wait, what type of naval bombers? 
just regular naval bombers? Yeah, I mean, those are important. They're not as important as they used to be, but they are still very important to have. We have naval... God damn it. Carrier naval bombers. Put you on the kind of the bottom. Yeah, I'm not even making close air support, so there's no point in even doing that. You're almost done. Uh, with this, we have a little, little bit of political power. Superior firepower doctrine, or... It's the only guy that we really have for land doctrine besides mobile warfare. Uh, can I do anything here? Democratic reformer, Earl Brown... Browder. Earl Browder. Yeah, this stuff is all nice and all. I love my coffee, too. But... I really want more factories. Military construction speed and dockyard construction speed, or just more factories. I think ultimately having more factories now will be better. Just because I can use them, I can use more factories now. And that went up to one, so we're doing two lines of civilian factories, as well as the military factory, some naval dockyards, and a little tiny, tiny portion of even more civilian factories. Because when the war gets going, I'm going to produce an extreme number of goods. Let's see, 87, that's not bad. Even though we're only 1.72 daily. 1938, though. Good, good, good. Let's get some better research speeds. And let's take a look here. Because some of these guys need upgrades. You need to repair. So that was the first group. The second group needs a repair. Third group. Do you have any upgrades? There now. Fourth group. Task 4. Looking good. Task 10. I'm glad that these are not in order so that any enemies fighting us will ask us how many groups you have. Well, I don't know. I've lost place. Eleven. Oh, these are not my subs. These are actually my other ships. Well, I might be clicking on you then. Subs. You go ahead and repair. Or, I guess, upgrade. Because having better torpedoes are just good. So we're on group one. You are already refitting. Wait. Mm. Uh, I'm losing track of all these people. Fourteen. Because they're moving around so much. Uh, let's see. Come here. God, I wish it, I really wish it was a select all. Task one, we've already done you. Oh, actually, you are refitting anyway, so you can't even do that. Group, no, no. Uh, so, so much easier clicking down here, guys. Very good, and all right, awesome. Cool. I just want to make sure that everyone's doing okay. We have a little more manpower now. 0.8 percent of eligible core population because of slow growth. And we have more tactical bombers. Good. Better tactical bombers, which I'll get to in a little bit. 1938, which means this stuff. Infantry stuff. Interwar bombers. Good. And actually, do I have any more planes? I need to grind more XP out. And no better place to do it than here. Even though I really shouldn't be grinding out XP for the carrier fighters. Whatever. And actually, I'm not, I will not be making any... Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I should keep the composition for my carriers right now the way it is. Because they currently have 12 naval bombers, 36 fighters, and 12 close air support. But I don't think that's really great. I mean, I don't ever really use uh, close air support on my carriers. I always just use naval bombers and fighters. But maybe the meta has changed. I don't know. Guangxi clique formally joins the Chinese United Front, while the Chinese United Front is doing doing okay. It's not doing too bad. Uh, do we want any more support? Medium lobbying effort. Well, we want more political power right now. Well, let's get a little bit of support that we can afford. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. So we build more and more factories. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. We'll reach out to the wear group so we get more advisors, so we can get more consumer goods, production efficiency cap, political power gain, and just more stability. Interesting. Anschluss of Austria. Oh no, what are the Germans up to? Wait, and monarchism. Uh, I'm not doing that yet. And, um, no. Rubber reserves. It really doesn't feel like there's that much I can really do here. Oh, but we can do two nation. Oh, Selective Service Act. Oh, actually, we can support Rock Island. We get a land doctrine bonus. Mobilization speed. Actually, mobilization speed might be good for us. More population to use for and women. 
tank destroyer doctrine or main battle tanks? Holy crap, medium tank production cost goes down by negative 20 by 25 percent. More armor research speed and more tank flight production or tank destroyers, which I never use. All right, two nation, two ocean navy act. Five more naval dockyards, more dockyard construction speed, liberty ships. Hmm, fun the navy, not bad, not bad. Very interesting. I want to do this. Uh, let's go with this first. We can get more population to get to limited conscription first of all. And then we'll come back over here and do the US USSR economic cooperation. I want to get a little bit more manpower and lose my support right now. I'd rather lose support right now than in the future just because I don't know what the future holds. I have support I can use. So that sounds pretty good to me. Can we hire somebody? Wait, these cost zero people? Oh my god, reach out to the wear group. Zero people. Zero, I mean, zero political power. More political power and stability. Or production efficiency cap. Well, I think I like stability a little bit more, which doesn't really affect us too much, but 5% more political power isn't very much. Oh, Harry White cannot have with Henry Morgenthau Jr. Captain of Industry has completed America first. Well, can't do that. That's not bad for zero cost. Uh, as much as I like Cap to produce more, I want more political power and stability. I mean, it, doesn't, it won't really affect us that much. But So we get 0.86 a day with this taken. We get 0.96 a day as well. Congratulations, America. I hope you love it. Cool, we got logistics companies, which I will add on to my division soon enough. Uh, we'll do that as well. Uh, yeah, you guys need to train out more army XP, because this, this ain't cutting it, guys. I don't want to put logistics companies on them yet. I need I need a lot more artillery as well. I remember the days when the Navy was just so, so much easier to understand. Go ahead and repair. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go ahead and repair. I wonder if there's anything, any upgrades I can add to these destroyers. Actually, yeah, there's probably something I... I might have already upgraded my destroyers. Oh, we are producing a lot more subs. Why am I producing so many freaking subs? We're on infinite... Oh, these are just part of the game that they want us to build anyways. Alright, that's... I guess understandable. So we have full 85. Cruiser full. This looks like what? They have a catapult. They have anti-air. They have a... Uh, what is this? Light attack. This is, this is basically a light cruiser. Yeah, this is definitely a light cruiser, not a heavy cruiser. Yeah, these are all light attacks. So that's definitely a light cruiser. I don't really want a heavy cruiser. Oh, this is a heavy cruiser. No carriers, destroyers. Mm, I mean, I could upgrade them. We do have a little bit of naval XP. I want the meat. I want heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. They'll be a little slower, but they get more HP, more heavy attack. We could do this. Add even more anti-air, which is fine with me. Fire control systems. Yeah, that'll reduce reliability by 8%. That's that's a chunk. That's a big chunk. So we're going to keep that. Sonar and radar for more sub-detection, because you can. Cruiser engine will help up the speed. It will cost more in fuel and time to refuel. Uh, this is fine. Armor for Cruiser 3. We're already getting a speed buff, so we might as well get more armor on these guys. Uh, rear guns. What is this? This is a... Ships that include this module and the design will be capital ships. So these will be heavy cruisers that we're building. Which is kind of fine with me. I need a few more heavy cruisers. Mm -hmm. So that's a medium module. It's a medium battery. So we already have that, so. Level 2 anti-air. Uh... I really don't care for us doing that. Anti-air isn't like extremely important to me because I will have light cruisers really focus on that. Torpedoes, rapid fire guns, these are light batteries. Well, I need medium batteries anyways. Slightly lower speeds. Uh, hmm. Maybe we'll just leave it the way it is. Oh wait, this is anti-air. Uh, what if we just did this? We would get a little slower anyways. Uh, let's see what else other options we have first. Modules, aircraft support. Uh, surface detection. Well, we can see more subs quicker. That's good. Uh, other than that, there's some front line. I see. Yeah, I, I do see this over here. Medium battery. Yeah, we already have that. So, screw it. We'll just get better anti-air. 
Cool. So this is the A6 hull. This will be the 1936 hull, which we don't have to produce anymore, really. Which, I just want to make sure that the ships that we do have will be using this template. Since I do want to focus more on creating new ships, instead of refitting old ships with old tech. With new tech. Old ships with new tech instead of new ships with old tech. Besides, those are heavy cruisers. As good as they are. Uh, oh, we have three dockyards. Oh, because we completed that. Hmm. 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 How many ships do we have here in Washington? We have four. That's not bad, actually. Uh, you know what? I could. You know what? We have some heavy cruisers, and that's okay. I will add you to Washington. Oh my! I'm glad I'm producing these now because it takes until 1943 to produce that. Uh, House Committee promotes, promotes, supports a presidential policy. Nice, more House of Representatives people to join us. Cool, and we have a few more of these guys. You know, I'm going to send a few more here, help repair, build up a little more. So this will take until 1939. So we've got some heavy cruisers mixed in. So we've got some capital ships mixed in with some destroyers so that their task force is not too bad. I do want some light cruisers, though. It's only 1938, of course. But we only have so much of this. Cruiser hulls. We're already producing... These are the heavies, which I should really rename these. These are my light cruisers, which I want more AA on. I have to have more AA on those guys. Uh, level 3 cruiser armor. And what is this considered? Is it considered heavy or not? I, I Remove? Oh my gosh. Copying armoring battleships to keep pace with developments in armaments around the world. I believe this is our light cruiser, right? Right, this is... Yeah, that's that's definitely thicker. Let's go ahead and upgrade this a little bit. Alright. So we already have maxed out armor. We want better AA on them. It's fine. Do that. Sonar, radar. Yeah, you gotta have that. And we will, of course... Ooh, Senator retires. Eight... Okay, so one Senator retires, so we lose up to eight Senators. Makes perfect sense. And actually, uh... Reset that. That's a medium battery... Uh, I hope this is, isn't actually a heavy cruiser that I'm adjusting. I might be, this might actually might be a heavy cruiser. Uh, screening for light cruisers. The workhorse of the fleet cruisers take over a lot of important duties. Ooh, interesting blockade. Anyways, I'm going to explore this a little bit more between the steps and the next. Just to make sure that I am actually producing what I want to produce. 1938. And... We don't really need field hospitals, but there's not a whole bunch that we can research. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll end the episode here. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, just to make sure that I'm producing the heavy cruisers, as well as light cruisers, so that our Navy will be adept and ready to fight when we go to war. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned a little bit more on the naval meta, as we are all kind of still discovering and learning about it. Uh, we have definitely grinded out a ton of naval experience as we watch Japan invade China. And Germany eat up Austria. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue exploring the United States with the Democracy Edition of Hearts of Iron 4. Thank you for watching.